Hi guys, Dan Carr here. I just wanted to make a really quick photo mechanic tutorial here because it's going to address something which I came across yesterday and I've read about other people wondering this question before. So let's just go ahead and open photo mechanic to start with. Now, if I pop a card in the card reader, we'll see the, the regular ingest dialog pop up. Now, if you're not familiar with all the ingesting options, then please take a look at my earlier video, which covered this in quite a lot of depth. What you see here, though, is that we either get the option to ingest everything from this card here, as you can see EOS Digital here, or we can ingest specific folders. But what we can't do with Photo Mechanic is see the images and select, you know, maybe I want to have these photos, but not those photos ingested. Now, I came across this yesterday because on this card, you can see I've got 23 gigabytes of photos on this card. Some of them I've already ingested at another time on another computer, and I just wanted to grab a few from one specific shoot. So I was thinking, how do you do that? Now, this is how you do it. Let's cancel this for the moment. We'll come over here in the navigator on the side, on the left-hand side here. We see the memory card reader EOS Digital there. Just right-click on this, and then go down to Open Folder and Subfolders in New Contact Sheet. Now you could just double click and then go through the folder structure, but you might as well just get that, all of that out of the way just in case you have multiple folders of photos within your card. So we'll click that and immediately all of these come up on the screen. Now at this point we're just basically browsing them on the memory card. We haven't ingested them anywhere. So let's go down to, these are the photos I'm interested in. Um, let's just pick, I'm not going to do all of them right now because that would be tedious for you guys, but Let's select these three rows of photos right there. And we're gonna right click. And this is the important option here. Copy selected photos. Sorry about the siren in the background there. Um, copy selected photos here. So we'll click on copy selected photos. We get the copy options. Now, of course, when we're ingesting a photo, we're basically just copying the photos off the memory card anyway. So this gives us a way to look at all the photos and then pick which ones we want to ingest, essentially. So you get presented with this menu here, uh, apply IPTC stationary to copy files. So you still have the option to open up your stationary pad and put in uh, any kind of information during the ingest that we're about to do. Again, if you are not familiar with this, then take a look at my earlier video. Uh, copy WAV files, rename copied moved photos as. So this is uh, um, an option that you'll be familiar with if you've used the ingest. So this is the same, same as before. And then basically down here we select a location to put the photos and again we have use of all the variables and you can set up some presets. So I have a preset set up called regular copy here. So if we do that you can see that I always have my photos renamed using all these variables uh, IPTC year, IPTC month, then day, underscore, frame number, underscore, then my name. And this is where we're going to put the photos. And again, I put them in a folder that's labeled using variables. And uh, and once again, that's all in my previous video if you're not familiar with that. So basically what we're doing here is a selective ingest. And it's pretty simple. The only thing that uh, comes to mind initially that you don't have, that you have in the normal ingest window, is the ability to copy the photos to two separate locations at one time. So uh, if that's... Uh, if that's a problem to you, I mean, I, I use a RAID system, so it's kind of double backed up anyway when I just put it to one location. But on when I'm out of the office, certainly, uh, I do it to two separate drives. And in that scenario, you would just want to create yourself two of these presets down here. So you would have maybe regular copy one and regular copy two, and each of those would have two different locations here. So you could just run this once, and then you'd select copy two, and then run it once again, and that would give you your files, uh, the selected ones th that you've chosen from the card in, in the two separate places. So essentially uh, that's how you do it. It's, uh, it's as simple as that.